Hello Leo, this is uh, Soul, Intuitive uh, Tarot for Unique Souls. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is going to be your general weekly focus reading for the week of January 18th through the 24th, 2016. All right, Leo, let's get right into your reading. Uh, the overall energy that I'm sensing for uh, some of you, and keep in mind, this is just a general reading. It will resonate with some of you, but not all of you. But I do feel that the overall energy for some of you, you may experience uh, some sort of uh, conflicting stuff, mental stress. We have the Ten of uh, Swords in the upright position. This is not really a good card to get energy-wise. Since this is a general reading, you have to attach it to relationships, family, work environment, and possibly um, friendships as well. But with this 10 coming in uh, as the overall energy, there's the potential of dealing with not only some sort of mental conflicts and stress, uh, there's a possibility of being, um, you know, backstabbed. So apply that message to a relationship, your friendship, co someone from work, and someone possibly in the family. Now I'm getting... Um, Air sign energies with this Ten of Swords, uh, you know, Qu Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, some of you may be dealing with male or female. Uh, like I said before, there's a lot of uh, conflicting stuff, mental stress and agility that you may experience during the week of uh, January 18th through the 24th. Also, too, because it is a 10, uh, the fl you know, the good side or at least the flip side to that conflicting and stress that I see impossible backstabbing by someone close to you uh it's a clearing uh the tens always represent uh, a clearing so there's a closure of something and then there's a uh, new energy so i feel that some of you are going to endure it uh, conflicting stuff but then it's an overcoming of that and then once the conflict um you know moves or moves away from you then there's an opening of new energy in the recent past uh yesterday going back to two weeks since this is the mini read we have the two of pentacles so i feel that the two of pentacles is showing up for some of my leos and trying to uh, strike a balance also too there may be uh some sort of uh connectivity that may have taken place possibly with someone new uh in terms of a relationship uh, possibly an earth sign, uh, Taurus, Cancer, not sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> not Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. I just lost my train of thought there for a hot second. Uh, male or female energies. Also, too, I feel that um, in trying to achieve or strike a balance in any area of your life, whether it's a relationship, family, work, uh, I just feel that some of this has to do with being mindful of your spending and um, doing checks and balances with your, your income. Also, too, there may have been a small increase in income in, in terms of a pay raise related to your job. The Pentacles always represents work and environment for me. And then the two, since it shows up, also represents that there may be, you know, someone new that um, you have met for the ones who were single and looking. And then also um, just trying to overall achieve some sort of balance and juggling you know possibly your schedules work schedules family life whatever just trying to achieve some sort of balance all right so midweek we have the three of pentacles three of pentacles in the upright position okay so this is um definitely some of you with this ten of swords showing up you know energy wise i feel that some of this conflicting stuff may be related uh specifically to work uh, since the Three of Pentacles shows up and it's in the upright. And also, too, the Three of Pentacles, any threes, is all about some sort of uh, attachment to someone who's already attached. So there's a love triangulation going on, uh, possibly with some of you, and it may be someone from work. Uh, I get that it may be the conflicting stuff from the Ten of Swords that may be an air sign uh, individual, and then also it may be a earth sign again since we have the two of pentacles uh showing up next to it so and then i i still see some sort of small increase of income related to work there's definitely an attraction that someone has 
either towards you and they are attached that you work with or vice versa. I'm just getting a lot of energy from a work environment environing, excuse me, involving uh, some sort of uh, attraction, something going on. So I don't know what that is, but I'm just putting it out there. Anyway, tail end of the uh, week for you, Leo. We have oh, sh we have the three of swords. Okay, all right. So there's definitely some sort of situation going on. So there's a split separation, heartache associated with uh, leaving a situation alone or an attraction. Uh, this is air signs. So it may not be you. It could be the other individual as well. So keep that in mind. So I, as I am reading for you, I'm just picking up since we have two threes next to each other and they always represent some sort of uh, love triangulation. It could represent that someone is hurt behind the fact that you have to make a decision because the, the, the swords are all about uh, decision making and the three could represent them in terms of you having to leave or, you know, decide to leave them alone. Um, and then there's some sort of heart heartache loss, or, you know, separation uh, distance that creates some sort of mental stress as well. So, yeah, I'm just getting Leo. Wow, this is Leo. Anyway, I'm getting for you, Leo, that there's some conflict and shit going on. Uh, for some of you, you may experience and possible backstabbing from someone uh, close to you. There's a love triangulation that's involving either uh, an attraction or some sort of physical stuff uh, with someone at work. And there's a possibility of either you leaving a situation alone altogether or someone gets hurt behind you having to make a decision to leave them alone. And they're um, not too pleased or happy about um with what you've decided in terms of that relationship okay so this is a very interesting re uh, week coming up for you uh, leo but that's your reading and the oracle of e card that i have selected for you is um open your presence um okay let's see what that says open your presence for you leo means or says ever seen a time lapse film of a flower blooming its petals opening wide that's your new role model visualize yourself opening your arms wide embracing all the prosperity and abundance that's flowing your way receive 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 and then pass it on so i love this card uh, for you, Leo, to compliment your reading, since I feel that some of you may experience a lot of conflict and stuff this upcoming week. But then this card comes in to say that no matter whatever you, you know, whatever it is that you're dealing with or you are, you know, that's presented to you in terms of conflictions and strife, stress, you will overcome. OK, the 10 is overcoming. So uh, I like that card to resonate uh, to compliment your reading. And I hope it resonates with uh, some of you. All right. So until the next time, this will be the last uh, weekly reading that I do for January as I am preparing for the uh, love uh, readings for February Valentine's month. So until the next time, Leo, I wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead. And also I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye. <laughs>